You got it? Yep. Hello everyone. Green. Yeah, green's fine. Hello everyone and welcome to uh, yet another of LP. We are currently in Laconia, New Hampshire. Or, Beach. or Weir's Beach, New Hampshire, depending on who you ask, I guess, at Fun Spot, which is the largest arcade in the world. And they have got their own miniature golf. So of course we're going to play. It's uh, what's so interesting about this is that it's completely self-service. So like the arcade is huge. If you haven't seen the vlog for today, today is April 12th. Go watch Stephen vlog April 12th, 2018. Um, if you haven't seen the vlog today, the place is huge. But inside of this huge arcade, they have this big uh, indoor miniature golf, and it's all self-service. You just come up here and you put. Uh, you know, five dollars in the machine, you get a golf token. The golf token allows you to get a ball, and then you play, you know, 18 holes. So we're uh, we're gonna have a little miniature golf battle while we're at this arcade. I'm super excited about it. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Mal, uh, I hate to tell you this, but you're going down. You're going down. Nope. You're going down. No, I don't think so. Down. So you're green, and I'm blue. I'm green. Oh. I'm green. You're blue. Yeah. Is this is this what we got? Yep. All right. Let's do this thing. So hole one is called Mount Washington, model of the famous uh, MV Mount Washington, which sails from Weir's Beach on Lake Winnipesaukee every day during the summer. The mount was built at Lakeport, New Hampshire in 1940 using the iron hull from the steamer Chattagay, Lake Champlain. Uh, it, re it replaced the original steam side wheeler mount Washington built in 1872 and destroyed by fire at the Weir's in 1939. This is super neat. It has a bunch of like history with it. Mm -hmm. All right, give it a go and see if you can get around the Mount Washington. That was close. That was, close. <laughs> that was really close. Ooh, not bad. And I'm Ooh, pretty closer. close. Two. It's two. Oh. oh. Did you hear it hit the metal? I did. Skimmed the surface, but couldn't quite get there. It's gonna give me a nice early lead. Of one. <laughs> hey, one might be all I need, Mal. This is hole two, Antoine Gretel. So, from what I understand, um, here at Fun Spot, and this is from 76 to 84, was a place called Storybook Forest. There was a theme park that was at this location. Now that's unusual because um, I remember going to a storybook forest when I was a kid. It must have been like a chain or something, just for the fact that the one I went to was not in New Hampshire. So I'm not exactly sure where it was. Maybe Pennsylvania? But I had pictures of, of me being there as a kid. Anyway, so Hansel and Gretel, which are a little creepy, must be from the original location, which is pretty neat. Yeah, they must be. Uh, this is straight down the center. Hopefully I can make that happen for me. Ooh. Not too bad. Mm -mm. All right, Matt, what you got? Uh, not too bad. Stay on the steam of twos. There you go. So can you redeem yourself? Nope. Oh no. Just one stroke, she said, on the first hole. And the second. But now also the second. So this is the third hole and it's called Summer Cottage. Familiar to generations of summer people and visitors to the lakes region are numerous cottages like this one. A family headquarters for swimming, boating, fishing, and other activities uh, which abound here. The wide front porch makes a nice spot to relax and then just sit and rock. Okay, and it's got a little well down there. Look at the little cats. Oh, there's a little cat. And there's puppies. It's gonna be a little difficult because it's not really I'm gonna do my best here. Yeah, it's not the worst. Yeah, it's not too bad though. Alright, Matt, let's see what you can do on Summer Cottage. Really good hit. But ended up behind me. Wow. Oh no! If you don't start turning it around soon, I might be, uh, I might have run away with this game. Oh no. Oh no. Oh Mallory. So we're on hole four, Kimball's Castle, Belknap Point. Kimball's Castle looks out over Lake 
Winnipesaukee. And the little thing they have uh, for the souls is built in 1888 from the original, which stands on the Rhine River in Germany. Uh, Sucker was originally applied to the stone walls, but was removed 35 years later because of water damage. The builder was Benjamin Kimball, an executive of the UN Railroad. His family and guests occupied the main building uh, with the servants, quarters, and the kitchen wing. Interesting. So, apparently, the original puppy. was in Germany. The original was in Germany, and then this Kimball's Castle, which is in Belknap Point, was built in 1888, based on the original. And then this is obviously a little version which might have been from Storybook Forest. The fact that there's actually stuff down inside is super, super cool. I love little miniatures like this. But we're still going with it. Good luck. I know it's just a corner shot. Wow. Not too, wow. Bad. Not too bad. Dang. <laughs> I didn't even know that that was there, the little thing. The angle, yeah. That probably helped. Nice. Came uh, came straight for me there. Two there again. Go. Another two. Oh, well, you know, at least it wasn't a four. Yeah. So this is hole five, and it's the North Conway Station uh, from North Conway, New Hampshire, built in 1871 from plans made by the son of the president of the Portsmouth. Uh, Great Falls and Conway Railroad after a visit to Russia. Uh, the unique structure is well known to summer and winter visitors. And it says this model, uh, where one inch is one foot, so it's a scale model, a, uh, 112 scale model, was built in 1966 by the famous New Hampshire craftsman Fred Thompson. Again, I just adore little things like this. So much history in this room, it's cool. Oh, I'm standing in the middle. You do not get to be an obstacle now, I'm sorry. Obstacle now. Uh, let's try and hit that wall. Wrong wall. That's gonna make me- You're in a pickle. Yeah, okay, things are gonna start to turn around. Much better than I did, which is gonna put you a lot closer. So go ahead and uh, see if you can get that in. Come back. Yeah, it might be. It might be. And the golf is young. There's your Ooh. your first two. You finally got there. I'm gonna have a hard time getting a two. Uh, this might still be possible. It's gonna be kind of a stretch. Wow, Steven. I did okay. <laughs> So this is hole six, and it says sap house. It's here that sap is boiled down to make maple uh, syrup and sugar. This is a model of a sap house built in 39, 1939 on Route 3A in West Plymouth, New Hampshire, owned by Manson Smith. And again, this model was also made by Fred Thompson in 1970. So I just want to see if I can you see in there a little bit. A There's little a bit. for boiling sugar. Yeah, you can maple see in there just a little bit. That's so cool. All right. Wow, good job now. Good job. That was close. Watch out for this triangle thing. Yeah, the triangle thing is what's going to get me. I'll be careful. Ooh. Uh, you can go. We're about the same. I think you might actually be just a tiny bit closer. But I think we should both be able to land a two on this one. At least hopefully. Hopefully. Another two. Good job. Mount Washington Cog Railway. Uh, Aman, Aman, Amanasuk? Amanusuk? It's hard to read. Uh, this is Cog Railway. Opened in 1869, this was the world's first mountain climbing railroad. It's three and a half miles long and carries thousands of visitors a year to the summit of the Mount Washington. The boiler is tilted, so it remains horizontal as the train climbs uh, grades as steep as 37.4%. Power is applied through the heavy teeth of the cog wheels, which provide the necessary margin of safety. Again, this model was also built by Fred Thompson. 
cool man this is really neat and again I love that you can actually see inside of this there's a little man standing in there all right now I'll give it a shot straight down the center not bad looks to me that if you ride the right wall there's a little yeah that's what I was trying to do but I didn't I'll give that a shot I also was unable to do it. And it's gonna put you closer. That's a two. Good job. Two. Another two. Done pretty good on this course so far. So this is uh, this is hole eight, and it's called Waldo the Whale. In 1964, the year Fun Spot celebrated its grand opening, a contest was held to name the whale on hole nine. That contest was won by one of our pint sized visitors, Lisa Mailer of Cincinnati, Ohio. To this day, our whale still proudly bears the name Waldo. It's crazy. It was over 50 years ago. Waldo the whale. Wow. All right, Waldo. It's Tango. We're going to see if I, can, uh, if I can make this happen. Ooh. Not too bad, but not good enough. All right, now give it a shot. You actually went, yeah, you went the other direction. It puts me a little bit closer. Can you get two? I really hope I can. If I can. Two. Something has gone terribly wrong. Oh. Wow. Now I'm sorry. I'll give you a three there. This is hole nine. It's just called Outhouse. I tried to find a placard for it, but. I don't think there is one, so it's gonna poop hole. You want the middle one? Yeah. You wanna poop right in the middle. Have you ever been in an outhouse like that? One of the old style ones? Mm hmm No, I don't think so. I've been around them. I remember one being close to where my grandparents lived in West Virginia. Yeah. But I've, I never actually went in it. See, my grandparents had one on their property. Ooh. Was that in? Close, but not in. Not in. The one, I think the one on my grandparents property was a two-seater, but it's been like 20 years. A two-seater? Mm -hmm. I think it had two right next to each other. So, oh, so you had a, a friend. Yeah, but then it, like a bush grew in front of it, and you couldn't go in it like after I was 14, <laughs> so it's been it's a, a long it's time. It's a little unusual. All right, let's see if you can get it in there. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. Well, this is going to be a little difficult then. That's one stroke. Much better. Go. Off to the side, but still um, lined up at the hole. All right, Steven. Two. Yeah, managed to achieve that. And three. Another two. No. Oh, you had a three. Had That's right. Three. Oh. So after nine holes, <laughs> we don't have to tell everyone how this has went because yes. I've had straight twos the entire time, which means that I'm at 18. Mallory, you've had three, three, four, three, two, 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 three, three for a total of, uh, I believe, 25. You can still do it. It would help if you hit a Some lot hole of hole in ones. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm not gonna say you can't. I'm just gonna say you probably won't. 